welcome back. As promised, I'm gonna film a pack with me video and show you what's going into my suitcase and we carry on for our trip to Tulum this week. Ah! We're very excited now. One thing that's putting a little bit of a damper on it is the weather forecast. It's literally set the rain the whole time that we're there. <laughs> Yesterday we went to the American Dream Mall, which is in New Jersey. Highly, highly recommend a trip there. It's 15 minutes from Port Authority in Midtown Manhattan, and it has so many shops. Obviously, because it's in New Jersey, there's no sales tax. It has a Nickelodeon Universe theme park, a Ferris wheel, water park, skiing slopes. Like, honestly, it's unbelievable. Well worth the trip. So anyway, we went there yesterday to get the last few bits, jocks, socks, clips, bras, you know, that kind of thing. Because there's a penny there, which I'm so happy about. Like, come on, you will know if you live away from Ireland. <laughs> Pennies is one of the things that you miss the most. And I just can't believe that now we have a penny 15 minutes from us. Like, it's the best thing ever. So I got all the last minute bits so this morning. I went and got my nails done. I got them cut really short because I just like the idea of short, cute and bright nails for holidays. Right, so I'm gonna get started, show you what I'm bringing. Oh, I should say, a lot of the clothes that I'm bringing you've already seen if you've watched my summer holiday haul. I'll link it here if not. But I'm not gonna show you them again because I went through that in detail. So I'll pack all of that stuff. And then as I'm going along, I'll show you anything worth showing. Definitely wanna show you what I'm bringing in the carry on to the plane. I wanna show you what's in my makeup bag and skincare as well. So anyway, let me show you. So basically, you will have seen all of this in the last video where I did the summer haul. I'm just gonna fold it all up now and put it into the case. Right, I've packed all of those bits away that you've already seen. I have cords up the top, dresses, kimonos, pajamas, a swimsuit, and then I have these three bikinis. These two are from Pennies. This is from H&M. I think that'd be lovely with little shorts and a short. So they're the bikinis, I'll put them in now. And I should say, this suitcase, I absolutely love it. It's from Pennies, from, you know, their It collection. We had that case during our move and it's just so lightweight. And because it's material, it just doesn't get ruined like, the plastic cases. Also from Penny's are these little bralettes. I absolutely love these. And then I just got multi packs of knickers, which I cannot find. For the daytime, I'm bringing these little biker shorts from Uniqlo. So they're just plain black. I have these since last year, they wash so well. So I have like a US shopping list because one of the most frequently asked questions I get is what will I buy when I get to New York? <laughs> like what's worth looking into? What do we not have back in Ireland? That type of thing. So I put a shopping list together on my website and these are on it. They are unreal. So I'm bringing two pairs of them in black and then I got them in this kind of mauve color. And I just think that these would be great during the day with long t-shirts like this. So I got this actually in pennies when I was there. So these are a similar shape to the Uniqlo shorts, but they're just plain cotton. I got them mainly for under dresses. Like I got these high Spanx shorts for under dresses and a couple of pairs out of TK Maxx as well to stop the chub rub, the chafing. Oh, and a few things that I bought are actually see-through. Like remember the orange cold water showed in the last video? So I'll need those skin colored shorts underneath that. And then I'm also packing a few vests. I have a skin colored, a white one, I have a black one somewhere else because I don't know, you always need them on holidays, don't you? Then these denim shorts and I have a black denim pair of shorts as well. So I actually think I have plenty for the daytime. I didn't think I did, but now that I'm going through it, I think I definitely have enough. I got two pairs of pill sliders for during the day. These baby pink ones, which I fell in love with. I think they're so cute. 
and they will go with everything that my black ones won't go with and my tan Birkenstocks which I'll show you in a sec and then just the plain black as well. I don't think you can go wrong with the Adidas sliders. I think they're class. They last for years as well. I'm bringing my beloved Birkenstocks. I got this for my birthday and I think they're absolutely gorgeous. These are the Arizona ones I think they're called. But I've lived in them since I got them. I think the colour is absolutely perfect. And because they're like that suede material, they're so comfortable. The only thing is, they get like your footmark on them like straight away. Like honestly straight away. The first time I wore them, I got that, which is a little bit annoying. But when your feet are in the shoe, you can't actually see that. But I love them. I think the only other shoes I'm going to bring are these Chloe sandals. I know that loads of people love them, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend them. This is so hard. Honestly, it took forever to break them in. Forever. And they still, honestly, aren't the most comfortable shoes. If you already have them, I do recommend putting two pairs of socks on and wearing them around while you're indoors to break them in. And then just plain white runners. And I got these Reebok. How nostalgic are they? Like, classics. I picked these up in H&M today and I just think they're the best things ever. They're called beach towels but they're more like a blanket, like they're not very thick. And they have this strap which I think is so handy because you can just throw it over your shoulder like so. And you're not carrying around a big huge bulky towel and they fit handy enough then in your bag as well. Got a couple of bits just to cover up during the day. You know when you get out of the pool in your bikini, maybe you want to go for food you want to get a drink somewhere just to throw over i got this i don't know whether you're going to be able to see it i'll try and take a better video for you but it's just a button up again it's see-through so this is what i mean by bringing those skin color shorts and all for underneath and then this pink one from pennies also see-through why is everything see-through and everything cropped like everything in the shops are see-through and cropped so I got that for uh, over dresses, you know, in the evening. I thought you always need something like that and I thought that colour is gonna go with most things, so that one is on. There you go now. So I usually never bring hair tools with me away because I'd have all good intentions. I'm like, I'm gonna do my hair, I'm gonna get dressed up nice. No, the hair ends up in a plait in the top knot or just left to its own devices soaking wet. <laughs> but I did buy this waver from Beauty Works to get those Molly May beach waves. So we'll see how I go. So I'm gonna bring that and I'm also gonna bring my favorite hair tool ever, this Revlon One Step Curling Brush. This gives you that at home salon proper blow dry look. So I'm gonna bring that in the events that I want to do something with my hair at any stage. Sticking with the hair team, I got a few little clips in pennies. One is this in my hair. It's part of this set here. So there's three of them. And then I thought these were super cute. Little like, I don't know what you'd call them. They're like, they remind me of candy sweets or something. <laughs> I thought they were cute. So them, them, big packet of bobbins and a hair royal and a sort. So we got this little Prada nylon tote bag. It fits so much. And I got the matching toilet juice bag. So this one. And this one. These are used, pre-loved, secondhand, whatever you want to call it and I got all three of them for a great price, honestly, for less than half what I paid for my backpack. So I was delighted with that. And I'm gonna bring that with those two bags with all of my beauty products in it, makeup, skincare, and then other random bits like a boob tape, <laughs> a toothpaste, toothbrush, and things like that. But I wanted to show you that because I never get a bar. <laughs> Here are a few beauty bits that I bought yesterday in the American Dream Mall. Got these in the Morphe store. I have to be honest, I've never heard of a Vanny Gregg, but this bronzer is huge, gorgeous red tone, it has a little bit of a shimmer in it, and I think it'd be perfect on my chest and that on holidays. And from that same collection, I got her luminizer as well. 
and they were like significantly reduced. Finally, I got the Rare Beauty blush in shade Happy. I have got Joy already, but Happy is like a more muted, natural pink to Joy. These are so beautiful, but they're so pigmented, you only need a tiny bit. I got that body brush in Pennies that I've seen so many people on Instagram talk about. I got that to apply the likes of the liquid luminizer on my chest, shoulders, shins, you name it. I want to be glowy, glowy on holidays. And then I am obsessed, in case I never told you before, <laughs> with body products. Like, this is my idea of heaven. New body wash, new body cream going on holidays, and hopefully then these will remind me of Mexico. I will relish in my evening showers after being out in the sun all day, the pool, lathering myself in creams into my robe. This is a really light, soft robe from Lake Pajamas. And honestly, it's one of my favorite things to ever receive in a PR drop. So that is going in there. I'm bringing my all-time favorite foundation, the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Oh my God, it's divine. The new MAC Mascara, which again, I'm loving that. The Sephora Eyebrow Pencil. And this little ColourPop palette, it's called, it's Bambi. This, see the way you have the cream bronzer, highlighter, a blush. How handy is that for traveling? And honestly, that is it for makeup. I'll bring my Charlotte Tilbury translucent powder and finally I'm gonna bring the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury, which, oh my God. I didn't use a setting spray for years until coming to New York. The summer's here, you absolutely need a setting spray and that one is the best I've ever, ever tried. I'm not gonna go through the skincare in detail because I'm gonna do that on my Instagram very, very soon. But let me just very high level show you. So my skin has been playing up recently and Susan, who is the Cosmara distributor for Ireland, has me on a very strict skincare regime. I'm honestly not allowed to use anything else on my skin. So I'm only going to do what she's telling me. I'm gonna bring my cleanser, which is not here, but I have a small little thing to put it in. I have my serum, a moisturizer, my SPF, the best SPF. SPF ever honestly I ran out a few weeks ago and I had to use a couple of other brands in the meantime and I hated them this is so lightweight doesn't leave your face with that white mask perfect under makeup absorbs quickly UVA UVB protection honestly it's the best then I have my DD cream which is like a tinted moisturizer not a lot of coverage but perfect for holidays I definitely won't wear foundation during the day but I will put that on over my SPF this is my favorite eye cream because it has a little shimmer in it and it just makes you feel weak. And then this is for nighttime. It's a really potent serum, vitamin C, amino acids, loads of good stuff. Actually, Susan has me on Acumax as well, which is a skincare supplement. So I'll have to pack them. I'm gonna put them all back in there now and I'm gonna show you the rest of the bits. Look, I put absolutely everything that was on that chair back in that bag and there's still space. Like. They were such a great buy. Honestly, I'm delighted with them. Okay, so this one, I have my deodorant. I love Mitchum. I much prefer the cream kind of roll-on though than this gel one. This is not great, but it'll do. I'll finish it and then I'll just go back to my normal cream. I have Olaplex number three, which is like an intense repair treatment. The shampoo, the conditioner, and my absolute favorite hair oil, is the Olaplex one. I love a hair oil, but this one especially. And then my favorite perfume, other than my wedding perfume, Santal Torty Tree from La Labo. Oh my God, it's just holiday in a bottle. That is all of the toiletries, I think. Oh, please let me know if I'm forgetting anything. And I'm gonna put those two bags in there, pack it all up nice and tightly. And then I'm gonna put that in my check-on. So finally, I'm gonna show you what I'm bringing in my carry-on. I love coziness, cozy everything, and it gets very chilly on the flights. So although it's extremely hot in New York at the minute, it's extremely hot in Tulum, despite the rain. <laughs> um, you definitely need a hoodie on the flight. And this is like one of my number one tips for getting on a plane. Bring a hoodie or something that you can throw over you 
and remember I showed you this little tracksuit that I'm gonna have for traveling so I'll have the tracksuit bottoms on I'll wear me runners and then I'll just put this around me waist or else in the bag for the plane because I'm definitely not gonna need it before it and probably after have an SPF lip balm which I wear this every day now because I was noticing that I was getting pigmentation around my lips and that's also one of the first places that you age is like around the top of your lips so I've been lashing the SPF on every day obviously our passports his and hers oh yeah uh, these aren't necessarily for the carry on but I definitely want to bring these what are they called like cozies I think there's a name for them Darren knows it but he's not here um, and they're basically for a bottle so you put them in there and obviously then your hands are heating up your drink so they are handy and they are coming with us obviously my card holder a deck of cards so we're loving playing cards we've been playing them a lot recently so we'll probably play them on the plane but even if we don't at least we have them for the trip my earpods one of my favorite possessions ever like honestly one of the best presents i've ever got my sunglasses so these Celine sunglasses are my favourite ever, honestly. Even more than the Amazon ones. <laughs> Remember them in my, was the last video? It was a Katie Taylor vlog when I was showing you those Amazon glasses. I can't find them. Like they're somewhere with the knickers, I think. But anyway, these Celine glasses are my favourite ever. I get so much wear out of them and I just adore them. So they are coming as well. And then books. So I'll only bring one of these in the carry on, which it's going to be the rules of magic. So I have read already the first book of the Practical Magic series. So that will go in the carry on, but then Practical Magic, which is what the film is based on with Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman. I've never seen it and I don't want to see it until I read the books. I'm delighted with them. I bought them especially for the trip because I think they're like nice, cozy, light reads. Um, as opposed to the dark and deep psychological thrillers that I generally rate. <laughs> That's everything I think now. Have I showed you everything? So what did we do? We did clothes, we did shoes, we did skincare, we did makeup, we did toiletries, and we did the carry on. I think we did everything. If not, and I think of anything else that's going in there or going in any of the bags, I will post it on my Instagram stories. Right, that is it, we are done. Thank you so much for packing with me. Honestly, I feel a lot more calmer now because you know when you're like, have I got enough clothes for the day? Have I got enough socks? Have I got enough jocks? Have I got this, that and the other? I feel a lot more comfortable now because you've put a little bit of a structure on that with me because I really had to think about it and properly get organized. So I really hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did. I love watching these videos. I loved making this one. I love watching YouTube because I love the way it makes me just switch off like watching the most mundane things like this just puts me at so much peace <laughs> just mindless watching and i hope this did that for you little break from your day little break from the chaos that is life and honestly i really hope you enjoyed it if you did give us an old thumbs up comment below i always appreciate your support so thank you so much for watching we are definitely going to vlog our trip to Tulum. Um, please, please pray to the weather gods that it does not rain every day that we're there. Thanks again. Love you. Bye.